Photo enforcement is a tool that the Denver Police Department uses to change people's driving habits. Without penalty, it wouldn't change their driving habits. 85% of the citations that we issue are to first-time offenders, so we know it's working. Misconceptions about photo speed enforcement. It's not true that these vans are unmanned. There's an actual human being in the van annotating each and every violation. People don't know that you have to be doing at least 10 miles per hour over the speed limit for a citation to issue. So just because the camera fires doesn't mean that it's a violation. What people need to understand is as long as you're doing the proper speed limit, you shouldn't worry about getting a citation. So the way the um, vans are set up for enforcement, about 325 feet from where the van is, we put up a sign that notifies people that photo enforcement is being used. It gives you enough time to reduce your speed and not get ticketed for speeding. The way we know it was your vehicle in violation is because the agent that's sitting in the van is actually writing down specific information of the violation itself. So what's annotated is the make of the vehicle, which lane the violation occurred, and they do verify for speeds. The agent in the van has to see the violation occur the same time the system captures the images. If I'm a photo enforcement agent sitting in the van and I'm watching traffic and something distracts me, like a telephone call or I drop my pen, I cannot issue that citation. Photo enforcement by statute is limited to three distinct locations. Residential areas where the speed limits are 35 miles per hour or less. Safety zones, which include school zones and work zones. And streets that border parks. Let's just say you were speeding and your picture was taken. Those images are then processed and a notice of violation is issued. It gives the owner three options. You can either pay the citation, send us an affidavit that you're not the picture driver, or you can take it to court and set it for final hearing. If a notice of violation is ignored, a reminder notice is sent out. If that is ignored, someone actually comes and serves you with a citation or it can also come by a certified mail. That's a legal document. Now you're compelled to respond. If you choose to ignore the citation even after you get served, a judge rules on it as default judgment and now we can take it to collections. It can mess up your credit. And you know, for a lot of people, you know, especially at this day and age, you know, having credit is important.